Hey there, everybody. It's Mike Delicio with another Dice Tower Daily Unboxing. And today, we're going to be taking a look at Fantasy Pug Quest, a Puglicious cooperative card game. Looks like this one goes from one to five players in about 25 to 30 minutes. In Fantasy Pug Quest, the players, the brave good doer pugs struggling to bring peace among the animal races will have to fight monsters and their bosses, adapting to the environmental rules of the worlds they live in. All right, well, that's an interesting concept, an interesting theme uh, built around pug, uh, pugs. So let's take a look and see if the inside of the box tells us a little more about this fantasy quest. Here we've got our rule book. It's a relatively hefty rule book. Now, this might be multi-language, uh, though. Um, let's take a look. It starts off in English, so we'll find out. Here we've got our list of components, a description of the game, which I already kind of covered on the back, and the different types of cards, energy deck, treasure cards, the world deck, uh, boss cards, the hero deck, how to play. Well, the how to play shows up on page 14. It's, a, it's an interesting way to, to organize it. Um, I'm not sure that that's always the best way, but I, perhaps I haven't really gone through the rule book very much. Uh, talks about the setup here and movement combat there's a lot going on in this game for such a small looking game rules of adjacency wow yeah there's there's quite a bit going on there and then it talks about the heroes i'm surprised at quite how much appears to be involved in this game. Then you've got advanced rules, if those rules weren't enough for you. All right, well, let's take a look at what else we have. Looks like we've got a paper kind of play sheet, which you can place cards out onto. All right, something that you see a lot of times in kind of collectible card games, things along those lines. Here we've got some cardboard components, some very small very small tokens there. Larger ones that have already punched out, so obviously they punch out clearly and easily. All right, and then two decks of cards, and that's it. There's a whole lot of rules for a game that is primarily built around two decks of cards. So let's see what these cards look like, and perhaps that'll give us a better indication on where the complexity lies. All right. Here we've got Pagath the Paga the, the Barbarian. I'm not going to try to read these because obviously, or honestly, the text, uh, the font is a little tough for me to make out sometimes. And um, it's very small text. I'm just going to kind of show off some of these cards. You can get an idea for some of the characters here. Obviously, they have different stats on them, different abilities. Barbarian card here. The Bard. The Cleric. The Druid. The Merchant. I'm just going to go through these quickly. Actually, I'll turn this way. The Ranger. The Thief. The Warrior. Kind of your classic tropes. The Witch. The Wizard. The Barking Muzzle. Canine Chainmail. Cat of Nine Tails, Colossal Bone, Cupcake, sure, Cute Coat, Golden Tag. So you get the idea, kind of playing off the, the items that you might find in a typical fantasy game, but tailoring them towards animals. Okay, let's take a look at this other deck of cards here. These look like they might be combat cards, at least some of them. Yeah, so these are just 
That to me looks like combat or melee of some type. All right, these are just very basic symbols. Looks like a wild, perhaps. And then you've got different, maybe enemies. Demonic Poodle, Supreme Feline Mind. And then you've got cards that represent some of those, perhaps. All right. Well, I think that gives us at least an idea of what is found inside the box of Fantasy Pug Quest. Thank you so much for watching another Dice Tower Daily Unboxing. Thanks so much for watching another Dice Tower video. If you enjoy our videos, subscribe to the channel for more fun, comprehensive board game coverage. Also, consider joining us at one of our events. Come to Dice Tower Retreat, a small, intimate gathering where gaming is king. Join us for Dice Tower Cruise, the largest board game cruise. Attend Dice Tower West in Las Vegas for gaming fun on the West Coast, or Dice Tower East in Orlando in sunny Florida. Dice Tower Conventions, the friendliest gaming conventions on Earth. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower.